New study from a Spanish and German team of molecular anthropologists finds genetic link from archaic Europeans to early moderns. Vanessa Villalba Moco from the Universidad de Madrid led a team of young archaeologists in a cave at Malamorso. Two perfectly preserved teeth of a 23,000 year old Salutrian male were discovered in a cave at Malamorso. The cave at Malamorso is best known for its distinctive prehistoric rock art paintings attributed to Salutrians. The team at the Max Planck Institute was able to extract the DNA from the individual. They matched it with the 35,000 year old Cro-Magnon. Their study was published in Nature March 2023. The authors make a stunning claim. Early European populations survived the last glacial maximum. From the study, here we present genome-wide data from sites in Andalusia in southern Spain, including a Salutrian-associated individual from Cueva del Malamorso. Johannes Krauss, this suggests different dynamics in the proposed southern refugia of Ice Age Europe and posits Iberia as a potential refugium for Western European pre-LGM ancestry. Pre-LGM populations did not disappear as was commonly believed. Pockets of Western Gravatians survived in southern regions. The evidence still suggests central Gravatians did not survive the last glacial maximum. The team also notes in their study that the lithic technology of the pre-LGM finds matches those of the Salutrians. From the companion study at PubMed, the Malamorso individual carried genetic ancestry that directly connects earlier Aurignacian associated individuals with post-LGM Magdalenian associated ancestry in Western Europe. Continuing, the oldest genome-wide data available from Western Europe comes from an Aurignacian associated individual in today's Belgium. Definition, Aurignacian culture, tool-making industry and artistic tradition of Upper Paleolithic Europe. Cro-Magnon is 65,000 years ago to 30,000 years ago. Gravatian culture and lithics is dated 33,000 years ago to 25,000 years ago in Central and Western Europe. The Gravatian lineage was passed on to the new lithic traditions that would culminate in the Salutrian in the French and Iberian territories. Cro-Magnon, Gravatians, Salutrians, Magdalenians. More evidence, separate origins for Europeans. Left bias anthropologists have long promoted the belief that there was no continuity from archaic Europeans to more modern European populations. Agenda-driven geneticists have produced research to back up those claims. This new research strongly indicates that pockets of Western Gravatians 40 to 80,000 years ago did survive the last glacial maximum. From the New York Times, quote, we are finally understanding the dynamics of European hunter-gatherers, end quote, said Vanessa Villalba Moco. Quote, with Mala Muerso, we managed to trace a Paleolithic human group back to one of the proposed Ice Age refugia. It is remarkable to find such a long-lasting genetic legacy on the Iberian Peninsula, end quote, Wolfgang Hack. These Ice Age Europeans would have carried with them a lineage stretching back to Cro-Magnon 80 to 100,000 years ago. And that would include lineage from high percentage Neanderthal DNA early Europeans. There's more to come, including Neanderthal DNA 
from archaic Europeans to Seleucians and Magdalenians. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.